Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to enable 15 hidden features on your iPhone. Of course, iPhones are packed with features and a lot of them are actually hidden. So in this video, I will show you guys how to enable those using settings that are actually kind of secret. They're buried into the settings app and most of the time the average iPhone user won't even notice them. So here is how you can enable actually 15 new hidden features on your iPhone. Now, before we get started, make sure you smash that like button. That helps out a lot for the algorithm. So make sure you leave a like on this video. All right, so we're starting things off with the calendar app. So when you go to your calendar, you will see right here, we have the days, we have the months here, and of course, all the different days right here. By going to the settings of calendar, you will also be able to enable weeks. So you have here week numbers, so you enable that, and then when you go back to the calendar app, you will notice right here, it shows the weeks and the one highlighted in red will be the current week. So basically, this is the 21st week of this year. So right here, you can see which week of the year we're on. If you use Wallet and Apple Pay on your iPhone and you also have a Mac, then this setting will enable a pretty cool feature. So go to Wallet and Apple Pay on the Settings app and by just scrolling down here, you will see a button that says Allow Payments on Mac. So basically, you will be able to use Apple Pay on your iPhone to confirm payments on your Mac when it's nearby. So of course, the Apple ecosystem is amazing and if you have a Mac and you have your iPhone nearby, then you will be able to actually use your iPhone to confirm the payments. Now, when you go to your settings app and you go to your cellular, right here, we'll see allow calls on other devices. So probably you have other devices, whether just your iPhone, you maybe have maybe an iPad or a Mac or something like that, or another iPhone. So if you have your number, your SIM card on just one iPhone, then you will also be able to receive calls on other devices as well. You enable the button right here and then it will show the devices you have connected to your iCloud account. You can enable these and when you have your iPhone nearby, so let's say I'm working something on my Mac, I have my iPhone sitting around somewhere here in the room or maybe charging or something, I get a call, it will show up on my Mac and I of course can continue calling actually like answering the call directly from my Mac without having to touch my iPhone at all. Now this one right here is pretty cool and very useful as well. This is a feature that has been around on iOS for years, but I don't know if a lot of people know about it. So you can see if I want to enter my email, all I have to do is just tap the add button right there and it shows up here. I can type right there if you, I just want to add the at sign or I can tap right there if I want to enter my email. That's of course very, very easy. And you can do that with any word you want. So you go to your settings, you go to general and you go to keyboard and you will have here text replacement. When you go here, you can tap the plus button and you can add here any phrase you want, like maybe an email, a phone number, anything you want, maybe something that you use frequently, add it right there. And here on the shortcut, you can maybe like add something like a word, a short word, like a couple letters, something like that. And then as you could see right there, once you enter that shortcut, it will actually show you the phrase. If you own a pair of AirPods, then you will be able to actually invoke Siri using your AirPods. And you can do that by going to the Bluetooth menu on the settings app. You go to AirPods, you tap the little I button and right here we'll have left and right. So right here you can choose what you want to do with each AirPod. By going here, you can choose noise control, which will be the default, or you can choose here Siri, then you will be able to actually use that AirPod to invoke Siri while using your AirPods. If you use voice control on your device or you're someone that needs to use voice control, then this feature will be really good. And of course, it will help the battery life of your iPhone as well. So you go to voice control, if you have it right here enabled, right here at the bottom, you will find attention aware. Now by enabling attention aware, this will basically turn on and off, like put voice control into sleep mode when you're not looking at your iPhone. That of course will help your iPhone preserve a lot of battery life. If you just keep it on all the time, it will consume way more battery by enabling attention aware. Then of course it will turn on once you're looking at your iPhone, of course it will detect your face right here with a face ID and will enable it automatically. 
Now, if you use voice control, then you will be able to actually have an overlay on your iPhone. This will make it very, very easy for you to use your iPhone with voice control. So basically you go here to overlay and you can choose here item number. So you can just say maybe like tap one, tap one, and you can see right there, it will tap the number one. And if you go here, you can add item names. So basically this shows you the names here. So you just say the word tap. And then of course you go ahead and use one of these names that are being displayed here. And then it will basically tap right there. So if we go to the home screen, you can see right here, it will show everything, the name of everything right here, which of course for a lot of people will be actually very, very useful. When you take a look at your contacts on your iPhone, you probably see their first or their last name. But did you know that you can actually customize the way your contacts will display on your iPhone? You go to settings, go to contacts, and here have short name. You can enable a short name right there, or you can choose here what you wanna see, their last name, their first name, or you can see their first and last initial, or their first initial and last name. Basically, you can choose here any kinds of different layouts you want to display on the contacts on your phone and the contacts app. Now, very important for your device is, of course, to have your accounts secured all the time. Now, passwords on the settings app will help you do that. You go to passwords and you go here to secure your recommendations and you enable detect compromised passwords. This is an amazing feature that the iPhone has and, of course, Basically, Apple always does this. They're very, very big on security. So make sure you always have this enabled. So every time for the passwords that you have saved, Apple will actually, your iPhone will detect like passwords that might be reused, leaked, or maybe like just compromised and will let you know right here. And of course, also give you the option to go ahead and change that passcode. Now the iPhone, of course, has this like animation when you go in and out of the apps, when you go back and stuff like that. And we had this for quite some time. If you're just bored of it, you want to change it, you can go right here to motion and enable reduce motion and then enable it will, you can see right here, displays another extra setting, enable prefer crossfade transition. And it will actually add this like crossfade transition to your device. You can see how cool that looks. When you go in and out of things, you just have this like kind of blur that displays on the screen, which looks really, really nice. And of course, it makes your iPhone feel a bit different. If you like to use the voice recorder of your iPhone, then this setting will be very, very useful. Go to settings and go to voice memos and right here will find location-based naming. You enable this and the app will automatically name your recordings based on the location where you're recording those. This will be very, very useful. If you use this a lot and you have to do a lot of recordings, you don't have to actually manually type names for them they will be named based on the locations. And of course you can go ahead and edit them afterwards, but this will do everything automatically. Next up, we're moving to notes. Right here, we have two different settings that are very useful. One of them, save to photos. Right here, enable this and anything that you can scan or take a picture of, on the notes app, you know, on the notes app, you have the option to actually scan documents from there, or maybe just like take a picture or something. Those will actually just be saved on the notes app. You delete the note, then those are gone forever. But if you enable this, those will automatically be also saved on the photo library, which is really cool. And then you have also another one here called access notes from lock screen. Basically, this lets you create a note quickly without having to unlock your device. So always create a new note or assume last note, whichever option you want to choose. So you can see right here, if I'm on the lock screen, I can just go ahead and just bring up the control center tap right there. And it will start creating a new note automatically from there without unlocking the device. Now, of course, I can tap on all notes, but that won't let me get in right there without first entering the passcode or the face ID. So of course, your notes are secured. Now, Apple is going quite big with their podcast app and they're updating it with amazing new features. But of course, when you watch episodes and even if you download them, those files are quite big and they will take quite a lot of space on your device. But if you go to podcasts, of course, on the settings app, you will have here a setting to enable called removed 
play downloads. So basically, once you're done playing, once you have listened to an episode, that download will be automatically removed from your device. So of course, you will have more free space on your device and that of course is always very very useful now on your podcast app you also have the skip button so you have forward and backwards you can customize actually how many seconds you will go forwards here so you go right there you can have from 10 up to 60 seconds and then if you go here to back you will have the same so back from 10 to 60 seconds as well so if those that are by default which i believe is 15 are not right for you you can go ahead and always customize them from here so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully learned about some new iphone features today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one